All right, the length of a rectangle is three meters less than five times its width, and the area of the rectangle is 36, find its dimensions. All right, so now we're gonna be looking at solving a problem using quadratics, solving a written word problem, and I understand that you're probably thinking, who cares about finding the area of a rectangle? But um, other questions would be far more useful that would have to solve a quadratic, like finding um, finding how to uh, how to maximize your profit based on the price of an item. Or uh, in Angry Birds, if I pull back uh, your the the bird in the uh, slingshot, certain certain uh, distance, where is it going to land? So um, really, Angry Birds is just a parabola graphing uh, program. So we'll just use these concepts in a question that you probably don't care a whole lot about. So I have a rectangle. And it says that the length of a rectangle is, and is means equal, 3 meters less, so that's minus 3, than 5 times its width. So if my width is here, then my length is going to be 5w minus 3. Well, how do I find the area of, of a rectangle? Well, I multiply base times height. So I'll have w times 5w minus 3. And we also know that the area of it is going to be equal to 36. So to solve a quadratic, it has to be in factored form and equal to zero in the opposite order. Right now, this is not in factored form, or it's, it's not equal to zero, so let's make it equal to zero. So I'm going to subtract 36, subtract 36, and I get w is equal to 5w minus 3 minus 36. That's equal to zero. But wait a second. In order to factor this, I need to expand it and then put it back together and then factor it with this negative 36. So I'm getting, I'm left with 5w minus 3w minus 36. And that's all equal to 0. So now I need to factor it. So I need to come up, I need to find a way uh, to find a binomial pair. Since I have a negative 36, I'll have a positive and a negative. And what times what is 5w? Well, I only have one choice. I have 5w times w, and that will give me my 5w squared. Sorry about that, because w times w is w squared. And so now 36 has a whole bunch of options. So I'm going to go ahead and, and try to figure this one out right over here. So <coughs> I, 5 has factors of 1 and 5, and those are my only factors. Negative 36, on the other hand, has factors of 4 and 9, 6 and 6, um, 12, right? 3 and 12. What about 2? Two? 2 and what? 18. So here's the trick. I'm going to have to multiply these numbers over here to get a product that is going to have, uh, and then, so I'm going to get two products, and the difference between the two products is going to have to equal my linear term. So I'm trying to multi find a way to multiply these things and something in here to get a product greater than 3, or sorry, two products with a difference of 3. I hope that makes sense. Sound a little. So I'm looking at this, and I know that 5 times 3 is 15, and 1 times 12 is 12, and 15 and 12 are 3 apart. Okay, this is, this is good. So that means, um, and we want negative 3w. 
So really, I want this 15 to be negative. So that means a 15 and 3 cannot be in the same parentheses. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. That's a 3. Uh, and that means this has to be, any time now, 12. And so at this point, I can solve. But right away, I notice I'm going to get a negative answer here. Can you have a negative side length? No. So I can discard this answer right now. By the way, the answer would be negative 12 over 5. And here, my width is going to be equal to 3. All right. So now I know the width of the rectangle is 3. That would mean the, uh, the length would be 12, because 5 times 3 is 15, minus 3 is 12. So the length is 12. So now let's read what they want us to do. Let w equal the width of the rectangle, write in terms, uh, write in terms of w the length. And so that is right here. So your length is equal to 5w minus 3. All right, use the given facts for the problem to write an equation for the, for the problem. Uh, that one is right here. So we have w times w, or 5w, minus 3 is equal to 36. What are the two values of w for the, what are the solutions? Well, we have our negative 12 fifths, and we have our 3. Uh, interpreting the values which is going to be rejected? Well, the negative is going to be rejected because you can't have a negative side line. And finally, what are the dimensions of the rectangle? That's right here, 3 and 12.